Yeah, hello, this is Victor Kilo 4 Foxtrot Bravo. My name is Roland. I wanted to show you how I set up my interface uh, for auto satellite tracking. It's a USB 232B, and uh, yeah, and if you find it helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's get to it. It's the USB 232B, and I had to order. Uh, an 8 pin cable with it for the G5500 the Yaesu um, rotator and it does come it does come with this uh, cable that's actually for um, the 800 and the 1000 rotators and uh, I just wanted to um, point out this website it's actually from um, a club and that uh, talks about the controller interface so what I actually want to do is um, scroll down and show you where the program is like here uh, the manufacturer Bravo Hotel 4 Tango Delta Victor there it is and here the program it's very it's only a very slightly different color so I missed it a few times so this is uh, this is the program you got to download here we go and uh, yeah here's the program RTC 200 that's for the calibration I just uh, yeah so the important part there is that your rotator is actually turned on interface plugged in and um, yeah the rotator has to be on so that can it can communicate so you go to check check um, your com port it, here it comes up three you have a look I know mine is on seven three to seven then I go to adjust you know to calibrate the rotator and then the important part now is to click open uh, but I also put it into azimuth and elevation because that's the sort of rotator I got the G5500 click on open and uh, it will read where it's positioned at the moment so mine sitting in the park position a 300 elevation zero and uh, then so you if you rotate your rotator into um, let's say the zero position um, like my rotator zero and uh, I click zero then then you go to 360 uh, even though you have a 450 degree um, rotator um, you go to 360 you click you click on that to calibrate it and then you for the elevation you go make sure you, you're down on zero then you click on zero and then you go to you elevate your antenna to 90 and then you click on 90 and um, that's your calibration done and it it will actually read you just click on read set it will actually read where it is like it was read elevation zero azimuth it will read 360 and then you can also you can um, you could do the speeds I left that one alone and um, you can check it you can check and go to uh, let's say um, go to 180 and 45 degrees click on it okay but also be be careful always keep an eye on it um, you don't want to do it um, like what I did <laughs> I used a different program to calibrate it and my antenna took off and and wanted to do a total flip um, from 0 to uh, 180 and um, yeah a bit of panic set in but anyway uh, with this program it uh, works 
works fine, but still be careful.